welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He say American diplomats want that Nigeria needs referendum, not election. Now, before it is too late, after the American government warned American citizens with dual nationality to consider their traveling to Nigeria. Because the Fulani Nigerians' non talent attitude towards kidnapping, insecurity, and terrorism that are committed by their Fulani terrorist bandits. Now they are deceiving the whole world that the Fulani bandits have now been officially recognized as terrorists. But no action. It's just audio official recognition. It's audio. They are not doing anything. Just to deceive the whole world. You know, Nigeria needs referendum, not election. And the full and need terrorist Nigerian government. They know this. But they have refused. Because they are the only tribe benefiting from the defunction in Nigeria. The fraud called Nigeria 1999 Constitution has no consensus of the Nigerian indigenous tribe, but was solely written by the Fulani Janjaweed, who are not even indigenous to the zoo called Nigeria for Fulani Janjaweed benefits. Only many Nigerians do not know that the Nigeria 1999 Constitution is a military decree fraudulently and deceitfully foisted on Nigerians and Biafrans by the Volani Caliphate through their military head of states with clauses protecting the Volani Janjaweed interests and their loot. Nigeria as presently constituted is built on a pack of lies. Lies! that is born to collapse anytime soon. And that is why our leader, Mazen Abdekanu, is begging the full and Nigerian government to allow Biafra conduct their referendum, a UN-supervised referendum. But they refused. Instead, they went after him and kidnapped him in Kenya and locked him up illegally at the DSS facility for telling them the truth. Now the diplomats are telling them the truth, that there is nothing that will work in the zoo called Nigeria, that what Nigeria needs presently is a referendum, not restructuring, not election. You know, so that everyone will tell themselves the truth. But the Fulani Janjaweed, they don't want the truth. They don't want it. And the zoo called Nigeria will surely collapse. It will collapse. And what Nigeria desperately need right now is referendum and not the election in 2023. The full Nigerian government is taking advantage that Nigerians and Biafrans are surviving despite the hardship and genocide Buhari has brought upon them. That is why the impostor called Buhari can be boasting that there won't be a political solution to Mazen Namdekano's trial at the Federal High Court Abuja if only the Fulani Janjaweed will allow the case to go on smoothly, free and fair. Then they will be defeated. They should not use excuses to be adjoining the case. They shouldn't. 
You know, Meyetiala has said they don't want Mazen Namdekanu to be freed. And that is what the dementia Ravage Buhari is saying. You know, when the diplomat said this, my mind was settled because they know that Mazen Namdekanu was saying the truth. It's saying the truth. But you know, if the imposter Kobuari is saying that there won't be political solution to Mazen Amdekanu's trial, which will be of good to the Fulani Janjaweed. But the same Buhari single handedly released Fulani terrorists and Boko Haram. This is happening. Because the fraud and false marriage called Nigeria is not working. And I blame the Southeast politicians, the Biafran governors, the Biafran leaders for allowing the Fulani to ride over them. You know, they have allowed the Fulani to do anything. They have allowed them. According to report, Southwest Governors Forum have slammed the Inspector General of Police, a Fulani Janjaweed, Usman Baba Akali, over interference and disrespect melted to the Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu regarding the ongoing land case at Magodo Phase 2 Estate area of the state. Unlike the Southeast Governors, they will never do that. They are all a bunch of cowards. Slaves. According to the Southwest Governors Forum, the defying of Sonwolu's order by a chief superintendent of police, a Fulani Janjaweed, to vacate Magodo Phase 2 estate area of the state as an unacceptable intrusion. An arrangement which compelled the governor of a state to seek clarification on security issues in his jurisdiction from totally extraneous body or person is a sure recipe for anarchy. The Southwest Governors Forum said they condemn very strongly this brazen assault on decency. They said this is not acceptable. Any expectation of reproach between the so-called federating unit and the federal security agencies are becoming forlorn progressively due to deliberate act which mock our very avowed to ethics and professionalism. The Southwest Governors Forum Condemn in clear terms the role played by Abubakar Malami in the act of gross moral turpitude. Southwest Governor said they will continue to interrogate the current system which treats elected representative of people as mere prefects while appointed office holders ride roughshod over them as lords of the minor. You know, if they said that if the purported chief security officer of the, of the states of the federation require clearance from the office of the inspector general on matters within their areas of jurisdiction, only hypocrites will wonder why the current security crisis deepens and there appears to be no solution in the foreseeable future. The full like this gender way. They don't want any solution. They have a plan, an agenda to accomplish. The full like the bandit terrorists, Minister of Justice, Abuba Kamalami, cries out that the Southwest governors are dishonest. Even a full like the quota system lawyer, Mohammed Adam, said that the Inspector General of Police is superior to state governors because the state governors are ceremonial chief security officers of their state. 
retired military personnel are currently protesting in Abuja over unpaid allowances and they lambasted the Fulani terrorist minister of defense, Basha Magashi, a quota system retired general, for failing to come out and see the retirees when they visited his home in Kanu for three days, even though he is one of them, is a retiree. The retired military personnel haven't been paid for more than 24 months. And this is a lesson for those Fulani Nigerian governments, those people that are allowing the Fulani Nigerian government to use them to terrorize Biafrans in Biafran land, especially in Imo State. The Fulani terrorist bandits invaded Kaduna State and kidnapped three children of a female police officer, an NSDC operative, and his family. These are the same police and NSDC operatives that Buhari is using to terrorize Biafrans and instead of these fools to wake up from their slumber and refuse the Fulani Nigerian government's order why their homes are left unprotected and then them and their families abducted by the Fulani terrorists they haven't seen anything yet as the as they connive with the Fulani Nigerian government to destroy Biafra, they will have no home to return to. And at the end, at their own very eyes, Biafra will be restored. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.